Ooh, it's kind of dark in here, man. Wow, this really goes back up in here, doesn't it? Okay, there's the surface. Oh, this is really cool. Back everybody to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, I think we're gonna go try out a cave. And the reason I have decided <clears throat> that we are gonna try a cave is because um, there is snow on the ground now. And not too much longer, uh, the ponds and stuff are going to start freezing up, uh, including the lakes. So if we're going to get a cave dive in before that happens, I think we need to do it now. Then we can mess with Charlie, um, you know, when everything freezes over. Uh, so I don't, I've never done this before. I've never even watched Game Edge or anybody else on YouTube do it before. Uh, so this is going to be a brand new experience. The only thing I know about the caves is that they're they're supposed to be really dangerous. The the dudes in the cave are supposed to be a lot more dangerous. So um, we're going to take our magnum with us and a few extra shotgun, probably all the extra shotgun shells. Um, I don't I don't know. Are there lock crates in the cave? I'm just going to take it just in case because I don't know. Maybe there are. Maybe there aren't. And of course we're going to want all of this stuff to take with us too. And, um, I don't know, maybe we could take the claymores and set those down and use those to help. But I, I think the main resource that we're after in the caves is crystal. And I don't know how much of that we're going to run into, how easy it is to get to and all that. But I want to make sure we have a couple of picks on us. Um, so let's make an extra pick. We have this one. This one's about 80%. And then we'll make another one so we have a whole pick, too. And then we'll put all this stuff back in here. And, okay, so we got the air tanks. We've got the weaponry. Why don't we repair this just so everything is in tip-top shape? So what do we need? Do we need some adhesive uh, boards and um, uh, scrap metal? Okay, so we got that done. Put this back in here. That can go there. This can go back here. Okay, so I think we're good to go. Why don't we top off on our food? What are you guys doing right now? You're just doing not really anything. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to make a couple of fire starters because our fires will probably be out by the time we get back. So we need some of this and some sticks. Make a couple of those, then we'll make the fire starters. Okay, that can go back there. And then we should be able to make two of these. Very good. Uh, let's top off our jennies. So we can keep that power going. That can go back in there. And, uh, yeah, we'll put these in here so we can start the fires right back up as soon as we get home. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, I think we're good to go. Let's just uh, grab a bite here. We'll eat this. And have a couple pieces of liver, maybe. Can we eat both of those? Nope. How about one? And our water's in pretty good shape. Okay, let's get moving. Let's get moving. I'm not sure what time of day it actually is. I uh, can't see where the sun is. So yeah, we gotta we gotta skedaddle. Man, you know what? I sh I should probably bring my winter coat. Let's grab it. What I, what my plan is for winter is that we're going to. I'm gonna have my winter jacket, but I'm gonna carry this with me. So if we get into a combat situation, um, you know, I'll switch those out. Yeah, Huey, Dewey, and Dumb Shitter <laughs> are down there again, finally. It's been a long time since they've derped out down there, so we're just going to let them continue uh, derping out. And um, let's see if we can get in a cave and get some crystal and just kind of see what that's all about. I know it's not the smartest thing in the world <clears throat> for me to bring all my ammo and weapons, but 
I don't have enough of that stuff to not do it, so to speak. And hopefully we don't lose it. I, I have never actually lost... Oh, shit, though. If you die in an underwater cave, your bag's down there. How does that work? Hmm. You might not ever get it back. You'd have to have a whole nother scuba set and everything. Oh, man, we're going to have to be careful. <laughs> we're going to have to be really careful doing this, you guys. Holy crap. Um, yeah, okay. Well, we're going to do it one way or the other. We're going to experience it. And um, hopefully we can survive it. That's the thing. Man, it is really snowing out, isn't it? It's 10 degrees, though. Um, so it's not that cold. It's just just an early fall snow, I guess. Uh, I'm not really actually going to loot, loot a bunch of stuff on the way there. Let's just get there and get going. I have no idea what kind of loot we're going to run into. Oh, shit, there's a wolf. You know, down there, if, how much space we're going to need. But, you know, because it's... Oh, frick. Yeah, forget it. Let's, we're gonna, that's the one time we're, we're going to let a crate go. Mostly because that wolf is still tracking us, and I don't want to take the time to mess with him. All right, I don't think he's tracking us now. Let's open up our map here. So there's a cave right down here. So let's actually run along the shore. And, you know, get closer to it from the shore so we don't have to be in the water too long. Alright, let's look at the map again. Yeah, we're basically looking right out at the cave. <coughs> okay. Let's eat this. Let's put this on. And uh, I'm assuming our our tanks will just automatically switch out. Um, let's stay actually on the surface until we get right above the, the cave and then we'll go down. Um, I can't bring my map up in the water? Oh, there we go. Alright, so we need to go more this way. What a wonderful day to go diving, man. I mean, I'll tell you what. I picked a doozy, didn't I? Okay, so let's go, let's go ahead and dive down here. I'm not sure where the entrance of this place is, so we'll just get down here and hopefully it'll become obvious to us. Oh, here it is right there. Okay, good. So yeah, my understanding is we have um we have cave hunters, which are supposed to be more dangerous than normal hunters, whatever that actually means. I guess we're going to find out, huh? And then, of course, we have crystal down there, and that's kind of the main resource, I believe, that we're after. And then I don't know what else we would run into down here. This is pretty crazy, man. Look at this. Pretty crazy. Okay, well, we got out of the storm anyway. So, uh, it's kind of dark in here, man. Kind of dark in here. I believe that we can surface, though, at some point. All right, is this some of the crystal stuff we're after? No, that doesn't seem to do anything. Okay. That's just stalagmites. Wow, this really goes back up in here, doesn't it? Okay, there's the surface. Oh, listen to the sound change. So are we going to get jumped right when we uh, surface? This is trippy, man. I have no idea what to expect. Oh, this is really cool. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I mean, I've never even watched anybody else do this, let alone do it myself. So this is a whole new experience. Um, all right. So let's put this back on. So we're fully armored. And let's start looking around. So I guess we're looking for crystal. I, it looks like there's some peak glowing thing over there. 
So maybe that's where the crystal is. I know that we need to use crystal for, you know, for some, some of the high-end recipes. Let's just be really careful. There's not a lot of cover down here. We'll poke around the corner here. All right, why is the why is it glowing? This is very cool though. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, let's go this way. Just trying to be careful. It's a lot, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot more extensive down here than I guess I was thinking. I don't know why I was thinking that, but yeah. We got an under subterranean river here. Yeah, it would royally suck if we if we die down here because our backpack's going to be down here. Okay. I guess we just keep following the stream down, right? I haven't seen anything yet that look okay. That's that looks like a resource of some sort over there. Maybe that's a crystal deposit. I'm not sure if the hunters are something, someone that we run into all the time, or just occasionally, or how that part works. Before we go over there, I want to look back up here for a second. I guess maybe that'll bring us around to that side too. Oh, okay. There's there's crystal right there. So that's pro that just looks like potassium. We don't need to grab that while we're down here. Let's focus on the good stuff. That must be a crystal thing there. The question is, are there hunters around? Guarding it. There's another one there too. All right, let's grab this. Oh my gosh, that makes a lot of noise. Oh. Well, if there's anybody within about 10 miles of me, they just heard it. <laughs> Good lord, that's loud. Okay, that's just a dead end. <clears throat> I'm not sure what's up that way, but let's go. Let's go grab this one. How many did we get? Uh, four. Crystal ore. Okay, so yeah, we're going to have to refine that in the refiner. All right. Um, not seeing anybody yet. We got eight ore, so if it's a one-to-one -one ratio, then I'm assuming eight crystals there. Uh, pretty sure that's potassium. Let's, well, what the hell, we'll hit it. Phosphate ore. Oh, that's different. That's not potassium, that's phosphate. Okay, I thought it looked a little bit different. All right, I'm glad we came over here. So phosphate, okay, so that's a thing too. Didn't even know that. Didn't even know that was a thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, well, let's keep working our way downstream. Oh, it looks like it ends in a pool there anyway. I wonder if that comes out to a different spot. Can we still look at the map in here? Nope, we can't bring up the map. Oh, there's a fire. Wait, is that a fire? What is that?
Oh, they're hunters. I see three of them. Can they get over here? Because if they can't, we could try and snipe them from here. Tell you what, before we engage those guys, let's just go back up this way and do a little bit more exploration. And see if we can get a few more resources. So that way, when we're killed horribly, we have even more stuff that we can lose. Am I right? Okay, let's go this way. That doesn't mean there aren't going to be hunters up this way either, though, so we got to be on our toes here. How are we doing nutrition-wise? Okay. We can't stay down here forever. That is for sure. What is this? Mushrooms. Okay, that's the first time we've seen that, too. Um, is this where we came out? I think it is. Yeah, I believe that's the exit there. Okay. Let's go around this way and kind of comb this wall on the way down. Let's see if there's any more resources. Okay, yeah, I see something right there. More mushrooms, I think. Oh, what's this? That's something. Oh, shit! Oh, that scared the hell out of me. Oh, this is coal. Okay. Another resource I had no idea was in this game. How about that? Oh, my God, that scared me <laughs> when that popped up. So coal, mushrooms, potassium, or not potassium, um, what is it? Phosphate and a crystal can be found in caves. Very cool. All right, let's run up here. Oh, shit, that's a bat. And he infected us. You bastard! You bat stirred! Mother! Oh, he's coming back! Oh, shit! And here I was worried about frickin' hunters, man. Whew. Okay. Let's take one of these. Uh, yeah. Damn it, he infected us. You son of a bitch. Okay. Well, um, can we harvest this thing? Yuck. We just get the usual stuff from him. Well, that's not good. Um... Boy, I don't know, man. Do we want to even try and engage the hunters now that we're kind of banged up a bit? Let's grab this coal. I either heard or read somewhere that the cave hunters are more dangerous than normal hunters. And I already mentioned that, I know, but that's why I'm a little bit apprehensive about messing with them, especially now that we're infected. I guess we should probably bring an antidote down here next time we come, too. Um, yeah, we're at about 75% on our nutrition. There's another coal there. And uh, the hunters are right down there. All right, let's grab this coal. Probably load this too if we want it to be useful to us. You think? All right, let's take a peek down there.
I guess the question I have is, can we engage them from the other side without them being able to get to us? I wonder what causes the the glow. There's no source to it that I can tell. Uh, all right, let's um let's go over here. I don't know if they'll try and jump in the water and come after us or not. But we're in range with our rifle to get a, a good headshot in over here. And then we can kind of, you know, duck back down this way for cover. So let's just sit here for a second. Okay. There's a guy right there. Okay, we hit him. <clears throat> the question is, can he cross this water or not? Let's just, let's just wait for a bit and see what happens. Okay, he's agitated, but it doesn't look like he can get past the water. Hmm. Okay, let's go down here. really hard to see. Oh, we killed him. All right. I'm, I'm having a, <clears throat> it's really hard for me to see their head. So I'm doing center of mass shots. I wonder if they drop better loot than normal hunters. Also, I, I don't understand why they're not trying to shoot back at me. I'm definitely in range of them, too. Maybe their AI doesn't quite know what to do. All right, let's go around this way. We're going to have less cover out here, but... All right. Why aren't they shooting at me? Okay, he's dead. One more to go. Just wait for this guy to stop derping out. Yeah, it looks like their AI's confused, like they don't quite know what to do. I need you to stop right on the edge there, dude, and just hold still so I can put you out of my misery. Okay. Center of mass shot. He's dead. All right. I hope that's all there is. <laughs> Let's have this ready just in case. Is there anything under the water here? Uh-uh. I think it's clear. Yeah, it's about the same stuff that any other hunter would drop, I guess. So 
some burnt meat. Here, actually, we can cook that and uh, get some protein. Can I eat these straight up? Now, uh, those give protein and fruits and vegetables. I kind of like to save those, though, for cooking. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to have to head back here pretty quick. Uh, but let's just get whatever else we can. Does this cave continue, or is this the end of it? Wow. Okay, it does continue down that way. All right, let's look... Um, over here. There's a crystal. It's kind of interesting that Cold Game has made it so those hunters can't get back to you, um, or at least shoot at you. They should at least have been able to shoot at me, you know? Is this just going to wrap around to the other place, or is this a different tunnel? And that goes down to more water. Okay, let's go back and get that piece of meat. Uh, we really shouldn't go too much further just because we're going to run out of that stuff. But we'll go grab that piece of meat. We'll go just a little bit further, and then we'll probably need to turn around. If the hunters always spawn in this spot, though, I mean, that was really actually pretty easy to kill them. Too easy, really. But I'm not complaining either. All right. So that'll get us a little bit of protein back. And, I mean, if, if, we, if we get desperate, I guess we could eat those mushrooms. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go down this tunnel for just a, just a short distance more before we turn around. Just curious to see how much further it goes. If we could get a couple more resources, that'd be great too. Alright. There is some coal. And some crystal. How extensive are these caves? My goodness. Alright, I see two crystal nodes. And a coal. But we need to watch out for you know who. There's probably I'm not I'm gonna assume there's more than one group of hunters down here. Let's go look over here real quick. Wow, and it just keeps going. My word. Okay. Well, I think what that means is the next time we come down here, <clears throat> we need to have extra food. That's probably that same tunnel. I'll bet you. We need to have extra food. We need to have antibiotics. You know, and really be prepared to stay down here a while. But let's grab these resources that we can see, and then we better skedaddle. Mostly because here again, I'm going to run out of nu um, nutrients and we're already infected, which sucks. That sounds like somebody walking in the water. Let's just wait a second. Yep, there's a hunter right there. Shit. Is it just one? Where's he at? I saw him right over there.
Oh. Ooh, this is intense. Ooh. These guys don't seem to be any tougher than normal hunters, though. I mean, normal armored guys are going to take a couple of magnum shots to kill. So I I don't see how they're tougher, but they're still dangerous nonetheless, right? I don't think they're tougher. Hopefully it was just those two. Oh yeah, there's their camp right there. Is there a third one? All right, let's get resources, and we got to skedaddle. We can't stay down here any longer because we're going to run out of nutrients and water and all that. Oh, no, there he is right there. All right, here. Can we get... Man, there's so much stuff down here. We really need to get the hell out of here. <laughs> A guy right over there. How do you get up there to get that crystal? Just walking right over here. I have no idea where that guy went. Oh, there he is. Okay. Alright, I missed him the first time, but we got him. Okay. Um, and does it just keep going from here? I mean, my goodness, these... This place is way larger than I envisioned. It looks like it does, man. Okay, well, we gotta go. <laughs> we gotta go. <coughs> I think we have pressed our luck as, as far as we should. Let's grab the resources that we can see and then skedaddle. I mean, if this gets dangerously low, we, we can't eat the mushrooms. I'd rather save them because we probably need them for one of our dishes, but... Uh, it's more important that we don't die, especially not down here. This is really cool, though. I mean, this, this is, this exceeds my expectations. I, I just didn't think these caves were going to be this cool. Um, and it just makes this game even already more awesomer than it is. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Okay, what do we got in here? Uh, burned stuff. Okay, we'll take that. Yeah, okay. We'll just put the burn stuff in our our mass generator recycler thingamadoodle. I'm not going to go any further that way. In fact, it looks like... Oh. That's got to be another campfire, right? Unless it's a way out... There's some kind of There's some kind of structure there. All right, we Oh man, curiosity's going to kill me, you guys. It's going to totally kill me. No, let's not mess with it. We're, we will definitely be coming back down here. Let's take our good fortune that we had uh, that being that we're not dead and let's just get out while the getting's good. That's what we're going to do. So let's grab a little more crystal. I hope not, none of the hunters repopped. Okay, that's all right. We brought another one along. We're good. Man, that does have me, like, super curious now, though. I want to see if I can get to this crystal up here. Um, 
There's another thing of coal, a couple more things of coal. I just don't know how I would get up there. I'm not seeing it, man. I'm not seeing it. Nah. All right. We're getting into the orange. Oh, here's a... Oh, no, that was their campfire. All right, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> this, is tough. this is not smart, but I, I just want to take a peek at that opening that looked like it had a... Uh, some kind of a structure in front of it, like an almost like an antenna or something. Oh, no, that's the fence. That's just the fence, but how come we... Why do we see light there? Weird, man. Okay. That is the fence. Well, at least now it won't bug me about what that mystery is. So this is the end of the cave, at least here. Now, there, there might be more that way, but I'm not sure. Oh, there's some shrooms. Let's grab those. And looks like there's more crystal down that way. Let's go grab that. Oh, see, we're out of stamina. <laughs> we're not doing good. We got to get out of here. I know I keep saying that. I'm pushing my luck, man. Totally pushing my luck here. Okay, let's just let's just walk so we can get a little stamina back. We used up most of our rifle rounds, but I think we're okay. Stamina's regener regenerating slowly because really low on carbs right now. So I think we came that way, or maybe we came through there. I don't remember, but <clears throat> I'm assuming this will lead us back out. We're going to have to leave that crystal because I don't know how to get to it. It looks like there might be... Oh, that just repopped in, that coal. All right, let's grab it. I'm assuming we can burn the coal like... like you know, as a fuel. Oh, it just disappeared again. What the hell? It was right here. Okay. Whatevs, man. Let's go. It appeared and then disappeared. Okay, hopefully we don't have repops. Let's cruise on up here. We'll run until our stamina is almost all the way out, and then we'll stop and walk. Okay, let's walk now. Hopefully, you know, no more bats pop in or anything. Yep, there's a bat right there. I'm ready for you this time, you bastard. You're not going to be messing with us now, man. I didn't really get a good look at the HP on these things. That was a level 3. You'd think one single shotgun blast would be able to take them out, though. Alright, so this is the first hunter area that we killed the first ones. I don't see anything in the water here, resource-wise. Uh, right? Yeah. So if anything else is repopped, 
since you know since we came through we'll grab it on the way out but our carbs are really bad why don't we eat one of these just to get it out of the red I really want to save those for our our high-end dishes though but like I said it's more important that we get out of here alive than saving mushrooms for our high-end dishes But what a fun adventure, man. Oh, good. We do have more repops. This was really cool. As I said before, it exceeded my expectations. I kind of thought we'd go down into a, a cave, you know, with maybe a couple of rooms and have a couple hunters to, to kill a few resource deposits, and it wouldn't be a, a real substantial cave system like this is. So pretty cool, man. Pretty darn cool. And it's good to know, you know, worst comes to worst, you have bats and mushrooms down here for carbs and protein if, if you get desperate. But I think the next time we come down here, we're going to bring drinking water and extra food and stuff with us. Did we even go down this way? I think we did. I don't remember. Yeah, I think we did early on. I just want to keep exploring, man. <laughs> or at least checking for, you know, respawned resources. But we got to go. Enough is enough, OG. Enough is enough. <clears throat> Let's get out of here. Okay, we'll stay up on the surface until we have to dive down. Um, I think we have to be up here to switch over to this, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's go. So, it looks like you would want to have a minimum of two tanks to get in and out of this place. And that's if you just go in and then come back out and not dilly-dally getting clams and stuff like that. But because we do have a few extra tanks, I might actually stay. Well, yeah, we, we need to get home. It's going to say I might stay on the bottom of the lake and look for some more clams. <clears throat> but we're not prepared to do that. However, we will grab this one because it's right here. Okay, so there's another cave um, uh, in the in Pine Lake, in the northern lake. So we will definitely at some point be going after that, uh, checking that one out too. And then, of course, we can come back to this one uh, for more resources as needed. I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but they're, they're too close for me not to pass up. Too close for me to pass up is what I meant. How many tanks? Oh, yeah, we got plenty of tanks. I think that's just sandstone. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna grab that. We'll grab clams, and that's about it. That's sandstone. Oh, there's a clam there, so let's go after that one. Okay, let's surface. Hopefully it's not snowing anymore. Nope, nice and sunny afternoon. We were I'm sure we were down there for an entire 
day and night kind of thing. We most definitely were. I don't know what time of day it was when we came down, but... All right. That was fun, man. That was really fun. Let's put our combat vest back on. We still have... We still have enough tanks to do one more dive, but, you know, we're going to be raiding Bravo again soon, and we can make some more tanks as a part of that process. Um, this hasn't taken any durability loss at all, which is great. So, cool. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to head back to the base, kind of get situated here, and then... Um, not sure what we'll do in the next episode, but we will figure it out. I am gonna start gearing up um to go after charlie so there is that uh what did we just drop protein bar and protein bar i'd kind of like to keep those we don't need one of those leaves and da, 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 da. let's turn all of these into those and throw out this extra one here and let's just get home without looting anything else because <laughs> i have no room uh but anyway yep we'll we'll figure something out I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I sure did. That was a hell of a lot of fun. And um, if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.